Good morning, everyone. It's Tom Sidney Bushnell, aka Numbers, here from Site Club and the Tom Numbers Show. And I've got Jason Q on the show with me. How are you, Jason? Not too bad. How about you, Tom? I'm good, buddy. I'm good, buddy. We've got, uh, for those that don't know, um, I've been talking about it and Jason's been talking about it. But if you want to see Jason and I and Mark Atwood and Lewis and a whole bunch of others come on the Truth Tour, the link will be below, truthtour.net. Click down, and if you're coming to see Jason, click Jason's name when you get your ticket. If you're coming to see me, click my name. It's just kind of, that's, yeah. you know, they, that's what they got it. But you're better to come and see us. So I'm right down at the bottom, actually. I'm, it's alphabetical order, so it's Tom Numbers right at the bottom. Scroll, <laughs> scroll all the way down there. So. I'm right in the middle, somewhere in the middle or something. I'm like, exactly, yeah. yeah. I don't even so, know where. It's like, I haven't even yeah. looked at where the, where the names are. I'm just like, I look, I'm like, uh, okay. There you <laughs> I are. saw the pictures. I'm like, I noticed that they... It, that he, he worked in my head. I'm like, my head, it looks like I got like, it's all cut around. I'm like, dude, what the hell is this? The first one, they put me in a suit and tie. I'm like, what is that? I'm like, no. Jason's other brother in a suit oh. and tie. Oh, it's bad. They're like, uh, so where's your twin? I'm like, what twin? It's like the one that wears a suit. I'm like, I don't oh, we, couldn't, we couldn't bring him. <laughs> he, he gets uh, rowdy about people. <laughs> so what's happened then, buddy? So we, we had the Trump rally on... Oh. Saturday. Yep. I saw Eric Trump the day before. I was up in Iowa, no, Idaho at the uh, Clay Clark event, which was cool. Okay. So, shout out to those guys. We met Eric and and uh, Patrick Byrne and General Flynn, a whole bunch of other. It was cool. Oh. There's lots of good people there. And um, and then Trump had his rally the next day. I haven't had a chance. I've only seen tiny bits. I'm just not like, trying to go through it. And then we got the Queen's funeral today. So, yeah. What do, what do you think, man? What's What's happening? You know what? I, I thought it was funny because you know how they said like uh, six is a dangerous time, right? Six is well, a dangerous time. Yeah, six is, six is a dangerous time and um, the queue drops. Okay. And the funny thing is, is that they said, if you want to watch the Queen's funeral, it's on at six Eastern. I'm like, huh? really? Because the, the one thing about it is that they didn't invite Trump or Xi or Putin or anything like that. It's like, you would think that those dignitaries would go, right? But it wasn't. Well, Trump would have been invited to that. But he wasn't. Wow. They're going, they're going to do a, a one in D.C. He is going to one today in D.C. with Clinton, Obama, and Bush. Oh. So none and of like, them, none of the old guard are going to London. No. But just, just Biden and then, the, and then the rest of the European, all, mm-hmm. all the dignitaries over there. So, and we looked at the military, like the ships and everything like that going on. I mean, it is all over there. Everything. Wow. I mean, it's like they're bringing the thunder over there. Wow. I think this is it. I think they're, I think, because they got to take out Belgium. Belgium's the biggest part of this, not next to Switzerland. Because oh. Belgium is just in, in Brussels and everything. Because you know how he was talking about the, um, that he always would talk about that snake poem. Mm. Right? But mm-hmm. about the girl, and it's like, well, why was he talking about the snake poem? There's, there's always, you know how it's like, why would he say this? It's like when he says bullshit. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, he's like, and he's even said in the in the uh, in his thing uh, yesterday, uh, Saturday. He's like, and it's all just bullshit. I'm like, and he's like, I don't know what other word I could use. I have a couple of like vocabulary. I'm like, the guy's beyond brilliant. But he says bullshit. I'm like, that's why he says it. When we were looking over our Switzerland uh, information, everything like that over the weekend, it's the Babylon system. Mm. BS is the Babylon system. So it's like they're taking the entire system down. Mm. It's just wow. like DS. They said DS is deep state. I'm like, no, it's not. It's double simulation. Huh. Because uh, there's that book, The Eaters of Children, and I know the title sucks. It really does. And the book is just, I mean, it's way informative. Yeah, as it talks about like Saint Simon, and and everything like that, what they do to kids and everything. But yeah, we'll keep it as clean as we can for you. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it, it's just because yeah, I hate talking about the kids like yeah. that. It's just like because we know what goes on, yeah. and and all it does is just enrage us. So yeah. it's like we know, we know we got them on trees and everything. So, um, but we learned a lot about like Saint Simon because Saint Simon Island is directly above Jekyll Island in, in Georgia. Uh, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. and that's where they had the first Bilderberg meeting in America was at St. Yeah. Simon Island. I'm like, oh, 
because uh, Saint Simon is the patron saint of kidnap and torture victims. Wow. I'm like, there's a patron saint for that? I'm like, that's kind of creepy. But and he kept on saying 17, 17. I'm like, if nobody's getting this, I mean, yeah. even he even did on the 17th. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. and, and it was actually a double 17. This is Ohio, I, the 17th state, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, it actually tripled then because the seventeenth state, and then you had nine seventeen, which also is seventeen the day. But actually, when you add nine plus one plus seven, that's why the numbers people don't understand is like numbers. Numbers means more to this movement than any word will ever mean. Because mm-hmm. words, like when you say the word "would," right? Well, which "would" do you mean? Like, would you do this, or would like that's "would," like yeah. that's a piece of wood. You and, have four or five different meanings for yeah, the same word. Yeah. Multiple meanings. And when you speak it in dialect, but when it's numbers, it's like five will always mean five. That's it. There is no it's not kind of cool. Like five is going to be like an 87. It depends on how it feels on that day. It's like mm-hmm. no, it, it it's numbers, numbers is it's the language of the universe. Mm-hmm. And I think you know with sacred geometry and then mathematics, mathematics and, and I and I really hated math. Because it's like some of the math that they would teach you, it's like, why, why are we learning this? Yeah. You know, and the one thing that stuck with me is, you know, because if you play pool, right, and geometry and all that, like Pythagorean theorem and all that, and then you understand that there's a, a Pythagorean group that actually is like, it's like, an, a, I mean, I guess it's like an Illuminati group, but not bad, but mm-hmm. it's all like brilliant minds. And you're just like, wow. It's like, so there are like, there are like, you know, when we see everything like bad, it's all doom and gloom, but nobody ever accentuates like, um, uh, you know, like the Mensa society, like mm-hmm. they're all brilliant minds. Well, there's actually a couple above that. The top one, believe it or not, it's called the Triple Nine Society. Huh. Like, huh. And you think about it, it's like, because they, they thrive off their 666, right? Yeah. It's like, oh, it's all codes and everything. It's like, but that triple nine it's like an inverted it's like yeah. it's almost like demonic and angelic it's like the flip it's like wow yeah. Yeah. but i mean and the thing is everything's done at a, a way that like if we see people like walking down the street we don't know you know who they are or whatever they could be the most brilliant mind that we've ever seen they could be but, an angel yeah you, we never you know yeah because i mean they could they could take any form yeah and i mean now that we know that pff, I mean, Tom, a few years ago, if you told me about shapeshifters, I would have said, all right, I'm going to go to this padded cell right here. Just go ahead and lock me in there. I, I'm, I'm done. And now it's yeah. just some of the stuff we heard. It's like, wow. It's, uh-huh. like, it's like you just shake your head. Like, like, how in the world are – and we think about like these normies that are like, oh, no. Here we go. That's the conspiracy theorist. I'm like, conspiracy theory, this and that. I'm like, well, yeah. we're having a hard time, Tom. Because our conspiracy theories are becoming true, so we need a little bit more. <laughs> so we need a new name. <laughs> yeah, we gotta come up with a new name. name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like what the hell's going on here? It's like, man, it's like we're you trying said about the bullshit. You, when you said it about Trump saying bullshit, yeah. so if you do the numbers on that, bull b u l l is forty seven, which is John. Uh, it's Sarah. It's France. It's Rachel. It's the atomic number for silver, and then shit. It's interesting enough. Fifty six is also the number three, but it's also light. So it's the okay. complete opposite as well. So, but if you do bullshit and you spell it out, it comes to 103, which actually comes to the month of September. And we're right in the month of September. So when wait, he's wait, saying wait, 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 September, said, September, September, it's bullshit. Wait, 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 bullshit, yeah, bullshit wait, wait. You, know? you, said, you said 103, right? Yes. Oh, one second. And also when you said bull and shit, see, and that's the thing. because That's Princess as well and John Kennedy. Uh, well, sorry, Jack Kennedy, I should say. And also... Bull and shit, when you said what uh, you said it was, what uh, bull was, what was the number on bull? 47. 47. 47. That's, that's also seven plus four is 11, and also six plus five is 11. September 19th, 103 days remain in the year. Wow. That's that was yesterday. <laughs> that was yesterday. Well, that's today, right? Yeah, that's today. 19th and, September. Yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so now, you know, just by you say 103, I'm like, it's like, and also, when we look at the dates, because I look a lot of dates, like the historical stuff, because yeah, if we notice, everything runs in cycles, too. It's like yeah. they're running this thing off of 
Because if we stick with one thing, it's like this, the whole cycles and everything. It's so crazy because it's like we never learn from history because we've never been taught the right history. So they keep on just repeating it on us. So it's like in 1778, the Continental Congress passed the first United States federal budget. Well, the thing is, is that in the next 10 days is the end of the fiscal year. And they said that we're going to, we're supposed to um, default on our payments. It's like default on what payments? I mean, who the hell we owe now? I'm like, <laughs> don't we pay enough? It's like, what the hell's going on here? It's like, who's, I mean, who's got the checkbook? It's like, that's what we want to know. But I mean, they just keep on just doing all this, but it, it's. You know, when you say, um, you said about the date today, September yeah. 19th. So if you do the word uh, 19th, it comes to 114, which is history. And you just mentioned about history. And it's also frequency and it's also trump card. And so awesome. if you do. And 114, also they also said actionable is 114 in the drops. Ah, there you go. Because 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 one one three was start and one one four is actionable, and actionable, yeah. we said nineteenth is one one four. What what are they doing right now? As actionable, they're burying that lizard. Yeah, and they and the uh, and if you do September, it's also the word for princess. So September nineteenth, which is one o three September nineteenth is one fourteen, which is trump card frequency history and the drop you just mentioned when you add them together it comes to 217 217 and if you spell the full word or full name of lady diana francis spencer it comes to 217 it also comes to the princess of wales which is 217 as well which is the date today that the funeral is happening on and, and you had it is, and the thing is somebody just somebody sent me the time magazine oh carol did she sent me the Time magazine with the uh, with Lady Di on the cover. Mm. The last one, I'm like, what the hell? And yeah. um, I don't know if you know about this. There's a spy magazine that uh, you know, I think we might have it that has Lady Di on it. That has Princess Di on it, but it has her like dressed up like a hippie. I'm like, huh? Because those spy magazines. That's the one they show Trump with time travel. Yeah. Because what he did in that August 1990 issue, and he's doing like he's bringing. Articles from like 1996, and it's like, wow. I'm like, and check the date. I'm like, and you're like, wait a second. Huh. And they're all newspaper articles. And he writes. They have the dates written on it, and yeah. what publication and who wrote it. I'm like, and these stories are just like the couple last couple ones. The last one was hilarious. It makes uh, President Trump look like fat bastard. I mean, he, I was like, who I said that's Trump in a different timeline. I mean, he's just like, wherever, weight, balding, and he's still with Ivana. I'm like, and even Ivana, uh, after she died, I was like, oh, she died. I'm like, what's the name of her book? It's the best is yet to come. I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah. And it's like, and people aren't, I mean, even the most closed minded people, they have to say, okay, okay, there's, there's something here. There's yeah. got to be something here. But when we look at the math and the numbers and the wording and how they've been doing this, and they've brought everybody upon us, because with Gematria in 4D and 5D, it's going to be monstrous. Because all this verbiage and wording that they, all this spelling, the spells that they put on us, yeah, it's like, they make us look like a nightmare. Because the thing is, is that they show like all the positive stuff. It's like, but what's the negative connotation? That's what they feed off of. And I was watching this, um, this little, this still, it was like a half hour, this thing on the Mothers of Darkness Castle. And when they said C before D, I totally forgot the full name of Mothers of Darkness Castle. It's Chateau de Amois. That's a C before D. Hmm. I said, watch the wives, mothers, darkness, light, you know, dark light. And this in Belgium too. And this place, and that's where the thousand points of light is that, that Bush would talk about. They have like a big, uh, I mean, the place is, there's a few things I know about it. And 
honestly, it would it would scare the hell out of anybody going in there. Out the hardest Navy SEAL anything. I mean, it is the most wicked place on earth. And it's actually on the uh, the the um the uh, the list of thirty four places, satanic places on earth, that they have to take out with the rods of God. Okay. And uh, it's on that list along with uh, Denver International Airport. And when they say C before D, there's so many C's before D's. It's like, but mm. also when you think C before D, it's like there has to be order. Colorado, Denver. Yeah. Yeah. And, wow. and especially because the queen, she built two 80-story buildings under Denver International Airport. That's where they're going to put us. Mm. And I mean, they have like all these big furnaces. To, I mean, it's, it's a nightmare because when we were in Vegas, um, there's a gentleman that came up. There are two people that came up to me that really, really blew my mind that I had to shut my phone off and everything. One of them was the last living engineer from the Hoover Dam. Mm-hmm. And when he told me it was at the bottom of Hoover Dam, he said, it's all solid copper. There's something with that. They said you could put, they were pulling semis in. A full you solid could, copper, you say? Full solid copper. Ah. So when, when we went there, because when we went for the truth tour, um, we didn't get a chance to go to Hoover Dam. And like, right. damn, I wanted to go. But yeah. for some reason that night, our flight, they didn't have a pilot for our flight. So we had to stay an extra day. I'm like, oh, what the hell? So we went the next day <clears throat> and there's this clock. Um, it was like an 11,000 year procession clock that was actually installed at the Hoover Dam. They mm-hmm. tore it up. It's gone right now. And they said at January, 2023, because I took pictures and all this of it. And when we look at the dates, because you know how they have, they have a, like those big plaques, right? And they say like what the dates are. Mm-hmm. It's just like, what the hell is this? But the one thing I noticed the biggest about it is that when you're on one side of the dam and you can see the other side of the dam, I mean, it's not that long, but they mm-hmm. have a tower and it says Nevada time, right? As a clock. Right. At the other tower, it says Arizona time. I'm like, why would they have, you know, different times? Yeah. I guess yeah. we do the time change and all that. I'm like, oh, okay, I can see that. But then we drop it as that. But then when we started, when we looked at dates, I'm like, because being an iron worker for 21 years, and when I quit doing 21, I'm like, that's a 777. I'm like, it's just, it's mm-hmm. insane how your just head starts wrapping around this. Well, yeah. they said that it's it was started on the first, uh, the first pour of concrete was on June 6th, 1933. And I'm like, uh, 1933, yeah. That's a 666. Yeah. But then they said that the last one was on May 29th of 1935. I looked down, like, this is bullshit. There's no way that you did all this in 23 months. Not a chance. Because concrete has to cure and harden everything like that. And I'm mm-hmm. like, you look, I'm like, there's no way. And then they said that the first, the first generation of power was on September 11th, 1936. Huh. And I'm like, generation of power. And we think, oh, the generators, all that. It's like, it's the wording. It's the spells that they put us under, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, there's something up with this. And it's like, why would they take up the clock? And they said that, Everything would that clock would uh, would be done in January of 2023. They didn't say on or by; they said in. So it's like something's happening in January 2023 that is going to just blow everybody's minds. Because this dam, I mean, when I looked at the water, right? And they say, "Watch the water." When mm-hmm. you see the water coming out the other side of the dam. It has that greenish tint. Mm. If you had it in copper, I'm like, they're poisoning the people. It's exactly what it is. Because, you know, they think, well, copper copper in small, minute dosages is a good thing. When you have too much of it, it causes autism and everything. I'm like, oh, shit. This ain't good. And then that night, because we saw the water levels go down. I mean, uh, and I, I'll even show you the pictures. When you see the water, because you can see the water lines on the, the mountains and everything. We saw Lake Mead. I'm like, that's, I couldn't believe that. How much water is gone? It's like, where does it go? 
But then that night, we flew back. They had those casinos flood. Mm-hmm. They had this one. <clears throat> it was. It had um, a, a name with a C. It wasn't Circus Circus or anything like that. It was a, a name I've never seen. And then it said Caesar's Palace, and then the link L I N Q, because that's how they spell it. Because mm-hmm. there's a Ferris wheel there, right? Well, mm-hmm. the thing is, is that the first, um, the first uh, casino started with a C. Then you had C, and then Caesar's Palace. I'm like. C C P. I'm like, we know what the CCP is. Yeah. And then the link, when we saw the, the whole queue, and I'm like, the queue is like, so when we're flying, when we go to the airport, well, the first time, I noticed outside of um, the Mandalay Bay where they had the shooting yeah. thing in the parking lot across the street, right? Because remember, they had that festival there. Mm-hmm. And a little further down, they have these two concrete pillars going up and you see cables come off it and it's abandoned i'm like we're supposed to be here and they said they're supposed to put the ferris wheel here but they said they're gonna put it down further down the strip so they just left it i'm like you just don't build something like that and leave it and i'm like there is some serious connotation here because why would you have two columns then i'm like then you start thinking about everything you know it's like remember 9 11 the two columns two mm-hmm. one towers one two world war two the two the two uh plumes of smoke and it's that satanic Masonic Zionist symbolism of the two two columns for the third temple for which they call which they crown their king of the world. And what's Israel trying to build now? The third temple. Because next year is the year of the heifer, the red heifer. It's like, I'll never understand this. Mm-hmm. It's like when Lewis and I were talking about like when people think about Israel, like it's supposed to be good. I'm like, well then. Why do you have to kill animals in order to, you know, it's, it's like to have something built. I'm like, usually just go to Home Depot or something like that. You just go get some nails, some wood, and just build the damn thing, right? I'm like, what's all this sacrifice and with the red heifers and, and they inspect it? Because it can't have um, two hairs that aren't like a, a black hair and a, and a white hair. It can't have two hairs that are next to one another on a whole cow. I'm like. Who, who in the hell has that kind of time to worry? About? It's like, okay, it's two, who cares? It's like, mm. and they just got five of them shipped to them on Thursday. Huh. Five red heifers. And they said that they were, what was it? It's like, oh, yeah, that's right. It was five and six months. That's how old they were. I'm like, that's an 11. I'm like, that's weird. But they said that it has to be that to be two years and one day old for them to do this. I'm like, well, what's that whole purpose? Then I'm like, well, 365 days, right? Mm-hmm. So that's 730 days, right? Plus the one, 731, there's another 11. I'm like, are they like literally taunting us? Because even the number 11, you think that's signed Gemini, but also it's so two towers. It's always the, you know, the Joachim and Boaz, the two, mm-hmm. co- the two pillars, even in Freemasonry. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. what the holy hell? And uh, also what I'm going to bring is uh, we have all those Illuminati cards. All of them. For their, uh, here, I'll show you. This is the game they play. Like the Illuminati New World Order. They okay. actually, they, that's why President Trump, that's why they're playing chess. When they say, oh, well, they're playing checkers while we play chess. I'm like, they're playing a card game. That's all they're doing. That's it. All it is. And we see like thousand points of light, Australian rules, political correctness. I mean, it, it's it's insane. And it's like, there's got to be something here that with all of us, with, I mean, if you think about it, if we all put our heads together, because I mean, you know, we're all going to be riding the same car. It's like in the same RV. It's like, it just, and I don't think people really understand. It's like just the conversations mm. that we're all going to have that we could bring to it. And then it's going to be like, holy, I mean, 
there's going to be things that we figure out that it's like, holy shit. It's like, we should have a cam. We should have like live cam. Oh, oh they, they, they actually, they do. They're going to, they're gonna actually uh, record a lot of the, uh, um, cause we have like videographers and I think they're going to yeah. record the whole trip. I'm like, and be like big brother in the van. Yeah. It's like, it's like, damn, it's like, but when we look at this stuff, it's like, uh, like reformed church of Satan and, you know, and this rogue boomer one, this one was a big one because I, exa- I know exactly but they show that one about a submarine. Cause remember when they fired that missile on um, president Trump when he was flying and they, they showed it in the drops, how they said, you know, um, it was early on. Cause that's when he came, when he went to China and they came back to Hawaii. He's like, well, where did he go after he went to China? Huh, he went to Hawaii. Yeah. Well, he went to the Philippines first. Okay. To take, to take um, physical possession of the 640,000 metric tons of gold. Yeah. For the Toronto gold certificate. Then they went to Hawaii. Boris Johnson, during that time, he had a, so about May of 2020, he's out jogging in the UK on the front of a newspaper, the Evening Standard. He's wearing the Philippines t-shirt. And I was like, I know what that is. And then, yeah, so they have to, they have to yeah. tell you. Yeah, yeah there's something yeah. weird about it. And it's like, yeah. they, they went to Hawaii. And I'm like, why are you going to Hawaii? It's like, and when President Trump talks about, oh, they have to refuel Air Force One, I'm like, they don't have to refuel Air Force One. Mm. Air Force One is one of the only planes that has automatic refueling capability. It could stay up in the air forever. Yeah. Because they always they always send up those uh those refueling planes with it. Yeah. So when they're like, when he's like, oh, he went to uh um Tokyo, right? And then he's like, oh, he landed in Alaska to refuel. I'm like, <laughs> so he's telling us he's that's where he's been. So he's telling people. Yeah, it's going here, but this is why I'm doing it. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, and it's like, well, yeah. it makes us think. It's like, well, why are you going from Tokyo? Yeah. To Alaska. I mean, when you look at it, when you look at the the ball, it's like that makes no sense. Yeah. But then when you start laying it out, and when you talk about flat Earth, it's like, you know, and people are like, oh, that's so stupid. I'm like, but the thing is, I mean, the quickest point between two. The quickest way between two points is straight line. Mm-hmm. So why would all these flight, um, these flight tracks, are they going do a big loop? Like, mm. like, oh, it's just much easier to do it that way. I'm like, why don't you guys just level with us? <laughs> it's like, you know, this They're this to, they are in little yeah. pieces. They had yeah. the so talking to the funeral um, in England today. So there was something that was going around, and there was a clip. So Sky News covering it along with the other networks and uh the carriage is going to i think windsor from london to windsor and uh they say so the commentator says well the clip the queen was in laying in state for four years at westminster hall and i'm like and he said that on television and i sent it to some family and they're kind of <laughs> no it wasn't that it wasn't that you know because it's the, what they're doing in england now is they're red pilling people through the mainstream media they're doing it in TV shows. They're doing it on the news. They were talking on a show called Coronation Street the other day about um, how the banks, the farmer, uh, government, they're all in together in this cabal. And they're saying, you know, we can talk about it because they're saying it on the mainstream television now. And then it's getting people to question, to think. So the things we've been saying forever, because they don't really want to listen to us. Like, and the people that have come and found us, Jason, are people that are awake and inquiring, so they want to find. But telling the others doesn't really do much good but they believe the mainstream media and so they did it again today on the tv and told everybody that she'd been dead for four years and everyone's like no he meant four days because but they really are reacting to it like overly you know people that have not said anything are putting exclamation marks and everything else and telling me don't say that that's ridiculous i'm like i'm just pointing it out i'm not the one that said it you know but but it's not she has she has been dead for four years yeah, and, and, and we look at this and we just talked about this last week i can't believe you just said that because mm-hmm. you said it, it was sky news right that sky event sky so, yeah you know, sky event sky news yeah so yeah, then, yeah and you said you said that she was laid in state for four years in westminster hall right yes not westminster abbey but westminster hall yeah so it's like and also when they're talking about the funeral right because we have the uh um the article for which uh he wasn't invited, right? And I was like, I'm looking, I'm like, eh, just reading through it. I'm like, 
Well, why were all these people being invited? When you say he wasn't, you mean Trump was invited? No, Trump, Trump was not invited. Yeah. And, I'm and like, the Queen loved him. Yeah. So that's very strange. Well. I know. I know. The, the, yeah. The, 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 <laughs> the Queen that they put in there. The, the, I know. And it says, and Daily Mail, it says, Donald Trump is not invited to the Queen's funeral, but will instead attend Washington, D.C. Memorial service along with three other living former U.S. presidents. The funny thing is, is that there is a drop. It says, panic in U.K., panic in D.C., panic in U.K., panic in D.C. It's like, where are the two places that they're at right now? I know. Okay? In D.C., so the yeah. memorial, all the ones that that didn't make it over there, because in Westminster Abbey, and you hear it, because I'm going to bring this too. They said it holds 2,200 people, right? Huh. But they said there's 500 dignitaries going, right? When you take 2,200 and subtract 500, how many do you get? 1,700. I'm like, mm-hmm. are you serious? <laughs> it's like, are you serious? I know. And 22 is MAGA. It's bankrupt? Well, 22 is MAGA as well, so 2,200. Yep. But 20, the number 22 is MAGA, and it's on and Trump's donation campaign. Well, and, also, and also, when MAGA, when we talk about MAGA, because a lot of people are, make America great again, I'm like, when he says make America great again, he's going after Israel. When he says MAGA, they're going after the Mossad. Because... The Israeli Defense Forces, which is the Mossad, they have a fighting discipline, a defense fighting, their defensive, uh, their fighting discipline, everything like that. It's called mm-hmm. Krav Maga. K-R-A-V-M-A-G-A. I'm like... Maga. There you go. <laughs> and, and then when he's talking about like, well, we're going to have two things like, okay, we're going to make America, we're, you know, make America great again, or do we want keep America great? Which one you guys like, right? He's always talking about these different ones. Well, guys, he is throwing softballs at us. Yeah. And, that, and it's like, he's waiting for us to pick up on it because he knows that it's like, okay, artist, go for it. It's like, okay. <laughs> I mean, help. And people are like, oh, art, like I, I've had people say that, hey, no offense, but you know, you got behind the art, you know, on the artist game. I'm like, thank you, I guess. Yeah, I'm like, thank I, you. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Just I'm another like, word for genius. And the thing that people are like, oh, often like it's some kind of bad thing. I'm like, well, these kids, it's like, well, the kid doesn't want to talk. I'm like, he doesn't want to talk because he knows everything he's learning is bullshit, probably. Mm. You know, when these when these kids go to school and all that, and then they put them in these indoctrination centers known as public schooling, and they start mm. putting them on, oh, put them on Ritalin, put them on this, put them on that. It's like, mm. and because when we were kid, when we were kids, my best friend and we were, I mean, we were kids, we we're little boys. I mean. She, Mm-hmm. Well, little boys are, you know, a ball of fire, but his mom put him on Ritalin because, you know, to slow him down, it made him pretty much into a zombie. Huh. I'm like, even, even hanging out, it's like, you know, it wasn't the same. There's no yeah. energy or anything like that. I'm like, and they want to put me on. My mom's like, hell no. Little boys need to go out and play. Because when we were kids, you know, I mean, and that's the thing. Our childhood, like your childhood, my childhood, it was the mm-hmm. best because we didn't have this technology bearing mm-hmm. us down. We got to use our creativity and use our imagination. And that's the two things that they lack. That's why they hate us. Because mm. we can sit here and say, oh, well, they have to do everything by the book. But we can sit here and say, well, if we all get together, we could find our way, you know, overcome, adapt, everything like this. Because we don't have to, we can think outside the box. Mm-hmm. And even the term think outside the box in a three-dimensional world, wouldn't it be a cube? Mm-hmm. Like a black cube? They keep yeah. you in it. Get out of the cube. Like, yeah. no. Get out of it. And what else is a cube? A black cube? Your television. Get rid of that too. It's like all this stuff. It's like we, we don't we don't realize that. Um, you know, how about this? What do you get for ball moral? Let's have a look. Uh, where do we go? Okay. So how's that spelled? B B A L M O R A L. Oh, I did one. On, yeah, so I did one more that, time. That's where, they, that's where they said that she was stranded, right? It's the morals of Baal for, for starters. Yeah, exactly. And that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I'm like, Baal more. I'm like, guys, yeah. it's, it's just missing an A. It's like, but 
in all the drops it's like they have like a letter in a kill box like just a random one it's like yeah you have we have to utilize the whole thing i mean it's yeah. do you know it, this one jason about so <clears throat> diana's funeral in 1997 was uh was it started at westminster abbey and westminster abbey is 200 actually which is um like a thief in the night it's also mount rushmore so you've got Mount Rushmore and you've got Westminster Abbey um, and we'll be going there on the tour so you've got uh, so Diana's funeral started at a weird wonky time of day and they've recorded it as such officially so it didn't start at nine o'clock it didn't start at 9 30 didn't, didn't even start at 9 15 it started at 9 08 in the morning and it's recorded officially as such and nine plus eight is 17, 17. yeah and Queen dies on September 8th, eight. which is nine eight. So they're totally putting it up. And you know, I'm sure you've seen the one about from the first Q drop. It's 17, it's 1776 days. It's 1776 yeah. days. Yeah. Yeah. And it's and, and we saw it was like and you're a 76, you're Jason, which is 59 plus Q is 76. Thomas is 76 as well. And I was born in 76. There you go. Yeah. And I was born in August of 1976, and 876 is at 21, which is 777. I'm like, yeah. Because <laughs> there's so much stuff that, like, on August 25th, that it floors me. I'm like, what the hell is going on? It's like um, the Kyle Rittenhouse shooting. That happened on August 25th. Um, mm -hmm. uh, here's one. Um, JFK Jr., right? Mm -hmm. It's the boat. Uh, the USS Briscoe. And it's uh, B R I S C O E, and that's the boat that they said that they threw his ashes off of, mm. right? Because there's one person that nobody's mentioning that is our dark horse, because there weren't just two people on that plane, there were three. Remember, it was John Jr., Carolyn, and mm. Carolyn's sister. Yeah, what was her name again? Oh, oh man. Um, trying to think but she she was more powerful than both of them combined wow because what have come? she spoke mandarin fluent mandarin and she worked in china so uh, it's like what if she's our she's our um, trojan horse our, our trojan horse with yeah. the, with the dragon family that is actually when we say china 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 it's like but we have somebody over there uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they like when they talk about songbird this and that and you know all these uh, Illuminati and everything. It's like, but there, there's in the like tip of the spear. It's like there's one person that I don't think a lot of people know about in this, and he lives in China, and he's at the top. His name's Henry Breakspear. It's all about oh, the break, right? The tip of the spear, yeah. Yeah, and he lives in Macaw, China, and a okay. macaw is a parrot. Which to also be a songbird because they talk. So it's like, what's going on with this? Mm. And he is the head of the quote unquote CCP over in China. Okay. Because it's there's so much stuff that's come out of there, like Taiwan uh, or even Hong Kong. Um, when they had all those, um, when all the Chinese were out there waving America, when I saw that, it literally just floored me. I'm like, so mm. what you're saying is that we say China is a communist state and that we should hate China, but there's all these Chinese people that are packing the streets, waving American flags, mm -hmm. you know, seeing the Star Spangled Banner, and you have Americans here that don't even love our own country. Mm -hmm. It's like, does anybody see anything wrong with that? And then they had, remember, they had the military start cracking them down and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, why would they do that? You know, it was, in, it was on May, I think it was May 20th. Okay. And I started looking at it, I'm like, what, what happened then? I'm like, then I looked into it and the Blue Dragon family, which are one of the, one of the higher Chinese families, mm -hmm. um, they sent their assassins to Greenland to take out the Black Pope. Huh. They, cut his, they cut his head off, brought it back. It's Blue like, that's Dragon. why the blue dragon family. And I'm like, blue, I'm like, wait a second, there's different color families. And I'm like, wow. Yeah. There's like green dragons, blue dragons. Like, the hell? it's like, 
And then they sit here and say, oh, dragons are fictitious. I'm like, well, if they're so fictitious, you guys sure are pumping them out on the TV a lot. Yeah. Like with uh, Game of Thrones, How to Train Your Dragon, the movies. Okay. And they're making it seem like kids like, oh, yeah, they're, see, they're nice and docile. It's like, that was all real. Mm. All and we think about it, it's like, how could it not be? Because it, it, if it was thought of, it was made manifest. So it was real. But they consider they can, you know, they keep on telling us, oh, it's, it's a myth. It's a myth. It's mythology. It's like, what, because it's not his story, mm-hmm. like history? It's like, yeah. you know, and we think about it, it's like, we don't want our story. We just want the truth. That's all we're looking yeah. for. Yeah. You know, I mean, we're big kids. We could take it. But a lot of this stuff is like with the kid yeah, that's the big thing it's like we're doing this for kids and mm. people don't realize that mo- most of us don't even have kids mm. but like, we'll still fight for it because mm-hmm. you know, we were kids too yeah it's like and now we see that, you know when we were kids it's like everybody watched us all the parents and everything like that like all the the neighborhood moms like they always knew where we were it's like damn you get, these moms got that that six seven eight nine ten you know sense yeah they always know what kids are doing. It's like my kids, my kids doing something bad. It's like my mom always knew. It's like, damn. It's like you can't get away with anything. It's like her, her intuitiveness. And and she she hated that I did this at first. Cause she thought that um that it was about the pedophilia and everything. Cause uh-huh. she knew about it before I did. About the whole pizza gate and everything. She uh-huh. just refused to tell me. Yeah. I mean, I could see why. I mean, you know, nobody, nobody wants it's it's, it's like, guys, we're way better than that. Mm. There's no reason for this. And I mean, that's as pretty much calm as I could say it. Cause it's like, you know, mm. as well as I do, it's like, you start thinking, it's like, these people are just deviant, mm-hmm. I mean, pure evil, but who knows? I mean, you yeah. know, we're all, we're all here from some divine spark spot, because yeah. if you think about it, there's no way. I mean, it is impossible that all of us with all of our separate lives, just everything, there was like an event in our life that actually made everything stop and then turn about and do this. I know. <laughs> and, it's like, and, and then, yeah. and then when we think about it, it had to do with some form of sacrifice. We had to do something, either sacrifice a career, um, mm-hmm. sac- do something that was out of the ordinary that you wouldn't do, but you know, just for the greater good yes. that you know that you're doing something that you can't put your finger on it now, yeah. but if later on, we, we got to do this. We got to be here. Yeah. We got called and we, we, yeah. we answered the call. And I remember right at the beginning, I was like, I have to say something. And I was like, am I going to get a knock at the door? I don't know. You know, back in 2020, yeah. you didn't know, but it was like, I have to. And then all of a sudden I met others. And then, like you said, we've all congregated together and yeah, just doing our thing. We would do it, you know, we're just, yeah, we're compelled to do it. We had to, we had to answer the call. We're like, all right, okay, time to go. Okay, good. All right, we'll get on it, you know. And the best thing is, is that because you guys are, you know, you're in the UK and all that, right? Because you guys mm-hmm. are in the UK, so you guys see everything going on over there. It's like, and we see everything going on well, over here. in Arizona today, but yeah, yeah, obviously from the UK. Yeah, and, and, and with the, because with the UK, it's like, from, from and you see the media here and it's like you see all these other countries and we say oh yeah we're free free to freedom i'm like is there any part of america that has actually more freedom than any other country no nope. mm-hmm. we're actually more more suppressed here and and brag about it the ego right mm-hmm. than anything i'm like guys do you actually think this is free i mean we're not yeah and that's why with this, um, we saw the secret treaty of Verona, how the whole, you know, with back in the day, what year 12, 13 with King John, when mm-hmm. he gave, um, when he made the Pope, the vicar of Christ, which made him God on earth, mm-hmm. then he turned around and gave him control of the dominions mm-hmm. on earth of the, of the, the, all, all the Commonwealth, everything. It's like, now we see where the whole Commonwealth started. But then there was another treaty of Verona in 1822 it was on november 22nd 1822 which case november 22nd yes okay this is good buddy i was just about to speak to about 
Kennedy's, but so we're yeah. following this is good. Yeah, go yeah, go this is a lot of 11s too. It's like, man, but it's the same day that JFK was killed too in 63. Mm-hmm. It's like, this is odd. Mm-hmm. And it's like 1963. You're like, why would they do in 63? It's like, mm-hmm. was it really him? No. No. They picked that day for some reason. The White Hats did. Yeah, they did. 1963. When you reverse it, there's your Tesla code, 369. Yeah. It's like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's loads of codes around that. Yeah. So if you, if you do, um, you, and you also brought up, so you do, I've heard of the, the red dragons, the yellow dragons, or the black dragons. There might be other, but you, I've never heard of the blue, blue dragons. dragons. Yes. So blue is 40, which is RV, which is also America. Um, but dragon is 59, which is Jason. Um, and then if you, if you make clear, if you do dragons with an S, it's 78, which is Kennedy. So if you do the blue dragon, the blue dragon, uh, blue dragon comes to 99, which is Patriot, which is Ascension. Um, and it also comes to, if you do the blue dragon, it comes to 132, which comes to JFK, JR is alive. And it also comes to Princess Diana. And you're talking about the Tesla numbers around JFK. So you talked about this. There's lots of 11. You know, obviously, you know about the 11, 11, zero water, yeah. the silver water. So if you spell the word Friday, which is the day in 63 when JFK passed, yeah. Friday comes to 63. And it happened in 63. But when it you is- spell the word 11, it also, we spell the word 11 in the simple numbers, in the Gematria numbers, it comes to 63. So there's you've got the two, you've got your two 11s. And if you do 63 plus 63, so 11, 11, that comes to 126, which comes to John Connor, Sarah Connor from the Terminator movies, also comes to 107. So you've got, you've got these 11s everywhere. And the other one about it is you've got the, you've got the eternal flame, which I think we're going to try and pass when we go on the outside of DC. We'll go to Arlington while we're going down from, from New York down to Charleston. Oh, that'd be badass. Um, that would be great because we, because you've got the queue there. And I'm, 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 I wonder if we can go. I yeah, we can. We... yeah, I, I think, I think, we, I think we should. Yeah, we should. We got we'll to. Stop. Yeah, we got to because we're going to go past it. So we've got to go yeah. and see it. And the eternal flame. So John F. Kennedy eternal flame comes to 243. 243 also comes to Queen Elizabeth II, 243. And it also comes to another Patriot truth of that. I won't mention their real name, but that also comes to 243. Um, and uh, and that's all connected with everything, the test numbers, et cetera. And you going back to that date, you said, Jason, about um, November 22nd. So if you do the simple numbers, A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, the simple gematria, simple gematria is 148, which is Donald J. Trump. But if you do that on the date, November 22nd, it equals 261. Going back to the Terminator film, they give a code in that and they say that judgment day occurs on August 29th. If you do August 29th, it also comes to 261. But they've got a third one. And I only discovered this in the last few weeks. But Princess Diana died on August 31st, which is also 261. So the White Hats chose the date for JFK. And the White Hats also chose the date for Diana. And it all goes back to 261, November 22nd. And then the, the day of the, so that happened on a Friday. If you, if you wind the clock one day past, November 23rd is a Saturday. Saturday, when you spell it out, comes to 109, which comes to Zapruder, which comes to 17th, which comes to Diana yeah. Spencer, comes to Site Club, my YouTube channel. But when, and then Back to the Future, Emmett Brown says, next Saturday night, we're going back to the future. So Saturday is a very key day. But when, but so November 23rd, the day after the Friday, which was the 22nd in November, back in 1963, if you say Saturday, November 23rd, if you spell it fully out, it comes to 369, the Tesla numbers. And on that same very day, back in England, Mark Atwood, who will be on the tour with us, who's brilliant, um, he discovered this, that on that exact same day back in England, Doctor Who, the time travel series, about time travel and Tesla technology, et cetera, that came out. It was the first launch on that day, but because of what happened a few hours earlier prior with JFK, it kind of got quashed. No one watched it. They had to re-release it on the next day. But all this stuff is going on. And now a friend of mine, Tony, who I met in Iowa, he told me about a series on Hulu, and I didn't know about this, but he said there's a new TV series called 112263. 
and is all about going back in time to, type, to change the events of the assassination of JFK. They've made a TV series about it, a, you know, a, a, Netflix, a Hulu series. I haven't seen it yet, but I was like, that's just incredible because I've been saying for ages, like you have, that that wasn't JFK. And I believe that it was to do with time travel. Time travel is 125, Dark to Light 125 is John Kennedy. Uh, 125 is also 8th Avenue where the Tesla building, the Tesla Hotel, the New York Hotel exists in Manhattan, which we you should what? pass when we go through. And all of this is just, I mean, how could we, how is that? That's way beyond coincidence. It's all planned. It's divine planned. It's divine planning, you know? Oh, White yeah. Hat planning. And also, because remember I was talking about that USS Briscoe, right? Well, I want to I point this out too, because when you said the next day, it was about 1123, right? Now, and when you mentioned Friday, you know when mm-hmm. that happened? What was JFK Jr.'s dog's name? Yep. Friday. Those Ruby Tuesday, those Tuesday, wasn't the Tuesday and Friday. They're the two. Yeah. And the thing is, everything happens on Tuesdays and Fridays with everything. Yep. It's like yep. tomorrow's Tuesday, because you know it's the day after this. It's on nine. Oh, that was the, I mean, the Rolling Stones, Ruby Tuesday. That's their song. But then Ruby Cute and then Friday, the, the, yeah, the JFK Jr. dogs. Yeah. 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 But then when you said 1123, the funny thing about 1123 is, It all equals seven. Everything. Any way you add it, you can split apart any which way, and it always comes out to seven. It oh. always does. When you break it down. Seven, seven, seven. And also, man, there's there's some there's some people in this that we think is or somebody else, you know, and they're in their patriots, but because there's some people that that they said died a long time ago, a long long time ago, it's like there's no way, you know. Mm-hmm. And when you mentioned the whole time travel thing, right? And it's like when I was talking about the USS Briscoe, because there's something funny about dates. Mm-hmm. The USS Briscoe, they decommissioned it, and I'm, I was going to look up the year, on April 6th, right? Huh. And they sank it off of Martha's Vineyard on August 25th. Mm. And I'm like, birthday again, I'm like, okay, there's something up with that. But it's also, you know, it's like, it's a... And they're sending trip. refugees up to Martha's Vineyard. Oh, yeah, and they got shipped right out. They said the National Guard, they're like, oh, no, get, get rid of them. I'm like, but, but you, guys are, you guys are Sanctuary City, right? I mean, what's going yeah. on there? So the codes, are, you know, the, obviously with Martha's Vineyard, with JFK Jr., it's like, oh, there you go, yeah. Chameleon so, Harris. Yeah. On April 6th, 2006, is when the patent for time travel was published. Really? When we found that, because we got... <laughs> We got kicked out of two groups on Facebook uh-huh. for bringing up time travel. It was the QAnon followed White Rabbit public one. Yeah. And it was the first post I ever did in it. And it was a QAnon Patriot one. And it got kicked out of both of them on the same day. And I was so pissed. I'm like, what the hell did I do? I'm like, we just put some stuff down. And all these people are like, because we got so much you know, traction on the other one, like QAnon followed White Rabbit, because yeah. nobody's putting anything up. But then they said, oh, you got to start up a group. I'm like, I'm not starting up a group. I don't deal with that shit, you know? And April 6, 2006, you said. Well, April 6, 2018 is when that happened. But I'm just like. When was the patent released? April 6, 2006. And I didn't even know it. We had no idea. We didn't find out until another year that that's when the patent for time travel was published. I'm like. Wow. Okay. This is crazy. But it's also, you know, the fourth month and sixth day to 2006, then 2018. I'm like, so in 2018 is 11. And then four plus six, that's 10. So that's a 21 right there. But it's just like, it's, wow. it's like there's all the. And April, April 6th is uh, 136 Great Awakening. So that's a significant day, April 6th. Wow. Here in the UK, that's the, that's the beginning of the fiscal year. 
So it ends on April 5th, and it's the beginning of the fiscal year, the financial year in England is, is, is the 6th of April. Um, it's also significant for a number of other places. Certain religions were established then, and other things, and personal markets. Yeah, April 6th, the big, yeah. My grandmother, dear grandmother, she passed on April 6th. I think she part of the numbers for me and orbs, etc. April 6th, yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. So they pay, they published the pattern for time travel. Wow. Yeah, and when I was reading general, general, general pattern. Oh, oh. <laughs> that he even mentioned something about that. Wow. Doing because he was talking about tanks, and I'm like, because when we started digging on him, and I'm like, on general pattern, I'm like, there's something with this, because yeah. it's like they look alike. And my great uncle actually served under Patton in World War II. Really? Yeah. And he has this, he had this big panoramic uh, photo. Yeah. And he's like, here I am. And there's General Patton. You know, he's down in the front row. I'm like, holy shit. Like, are you wow. serious? <laughs> and Trump played, I mean, Trump played the beginning of the Patton movie in Iowa last year. I was at the Trump rally. And uh, in Iowa, um, 48 Tom, I was there with Rachel Wright, so blonde. Um, Others were there, and uh, yeah, he played it, and I'm like, "You got to be kidding me!" That's how they played it, and then he came on stage. They played a bit from yeah. the film. I was like, "Come on, wow!" You know. Well, and who and George C. Scott played Patton in the movie, and also because you know how like all the families always have pets, but Trump they never had one until now. Did you just say George C. Scott? Yes. And Scott, so Scott is two T's, yeah? Yes. So George is 57, which is England, which is Tesla. C is three. And then Scott is 77, which is Quasar, which is Christ, which is power. You add them all together, it comes to 137, which comes to uh, Casino Royale, comes to Washington, D.C., but it comes to the word 17th. George C. Scott, 137, 17th. President JFK, 137. I didn't know that, George C. Scott. Wow. 137, 17. What is, what is, what is, uh, what's George, what's his patent's middle name? Um, I got it right here. Let me see. I'm going to this one. Wait, this one worked. I got tons of books on patent. I'm going to bring a couple of the patent papers. Um, I wrote a film script prior to 2020. And I included a piece of a George Patton. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it was 188 pages long. 188 is President Kennedy. The coronavirus, 188. Close Encounters, 188. Show Me the Money, 188. Jesus of Nazareth, 188. And I wrote it 188 pages. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah. One times 88 is Trump. Wow. Okay. So what's his name? So yeah, how do, what's, his, what's his name? Uh, so General George Patton, I think it's George C. Patton, uh, George, uh, George C. Patton, because his son actually ended up being a major general in the army. Huh. And How do you spell Patton, Jason? P-A-T-T-O-N. Okay. It's like that. Yeah. Okay. So Patton. Okay. Yeah, George, yeah, George S. Patton. Okay. Does it say what his middle name is? Uh, I can find it. Oh! What? So, uh -oh. <laughs> time travel, back to the future, with Doc Brown, Emmett Brown, says November 5th, 1955, he discovered time travel. November 5th, and in England, we're always told to remember, remember the 5th of November. Yeah. With Guy Fawkes, etc. Um, shout out to Danny Ramplin. Danny, if you're watching this, you'll know what I'm on about with that. But, um, so November 5th comes to 143. And it's the day that time travel was invented. Melania Trump comes to 143. My cousin, Paul Bushnell, was a big part of the numbers for me. He passed, comes to 143. Um, Ground Zero comes to 143. Building Seven comes to 143. But also George Patton comes to 143. And we're always told to remember, remember the 5th of November. Remember, remember George Patton, 143. November 5th. This is insane. His middle name is Smith. Is it really? Yes. That's 69. That's checkmate. And, Ooh, and that's, a, that's an area code for New York that takes you back to the Tesla uh, Hotel. Dear. And he was 12. 
Yeah, you're, you're completely yes. He's born on November 11th. 11 11. 1885. Wow. And that's a 22, which is another two 11s. And remember when he talks about the gas, right? November 11th. So yeah. November yeah. is 94, John John. It's Ace of Spades. 11th is 91, which is Space Force, which is POTUS, which is Liberty, which is Future, which is the father. The father. You do November 11th. That comes to... Oh, wow. It comes to 185, which is Donald John Trump. And we're saying it's the father. And some people are saying that Trump was really born in 1945 on, I think it was December 7th or 5th. Nope. What was it? Nope. Couldn't be. Because there was one reason why. He pointed out that his birth date is exactly what it was on June 14th, 1946. Because when he talks about gas, right? He's like, dollar 87 gas, dollar 87 gas, right? Yeah. When you look, when you, when you look at his, his birth date, right? Of mm -hmm. June 14th, which is flag day. Yeah, 1946, and you go back 187 days exactly, right? Uh -huh. You come up with the same exact day that George Patton was in the automobile accident in Europe, and he died uh -huh. 12 days later. Where was the accident? It was in Europe. Um, he was, was in, in a, Paris, was it? Uh, no, yeah. I'll, I'll get it right now because I just okay. went up uh, Patton's uh, Wikipedia because. Something big here. Let's see, um, but yeah, 11 11 November 11th is 185 Donald John Trump, which is Book of Revelation, which is World Trade Center, which is Global Financial Reset 185. Wow, yeah. Uh, do you know what the um, while you're looking at that, Jason, do you know what the middle name of uh, Donald's father, um, Frederick Trump is? Do you know what the middle name of Christ. that is? Yeah. And then the grandmother is also Mary Christ, and then the great grandfather is Felipe Christ. <laughs> I cannot. And Christ is 77, which is Quasar. And you're the first one that told me about Quasars. That WC Vets, I'm going to bring all those too. Those WC Vets ones, when you yeah. read these, you're going to be like, no, no way. So, and personal was, ascension is, is, you know, the people, it's an internal and external thing, but internal. And uh, ascension is uh 99 but also um you vibrate you know if you christ consciousness vibration raise your vibration and go from three to five d so the word vibrate is also seven seven which is christ which is which is hurts and you'll know this so when jfk that took place in 63 there's pictures of the building the light the uh, depository they have an advert and there's a name above it which is hertz 77 right above where it happened and it's on elm street a nightmare on Elm Street, but not as we think, you know. Anyway, sorry, buddy, carry on. Oh, it's okay. Um, so at the end, he commanded the United States 15th Army, mm -hmm. right? I'm like, 15th, it's like Queen was 96, and the other queen that they talk about, the Queen of Canberra, was on the same day, you know, the capital of Australia. Yeah. And, and and it was like, there was like, oh, two queens. I'm like, there were no two queens. I'm like, it's a fake queen. But who said Queen Elizabeth II was a real queen, right? Yeah. So what they're saying that on, on the same day that Elizabeth died, there was someone called the Queen of Canberra that died as well. Yes. And her name was wow. Alison Aitken, which is AA, which is 1111. Aitken? That's Jack at Edward Aitken Kid. And Alison? Yeah, it's A L I S O N A I T. K E N. Huh. Alice down the rabbit hole. Okay. Holy shit. So then uh, for slightly more than two months, right? It's like every two, mm -hmm. every two twice, right? Yeah. Severely injured in an auto accident. He died in Germany 12 days later on December 21st, 1945. So December is 12th month, 1221. Remember, they, they, they put in the drops 1221, 1221. Well, when you go back 12 days, it's December 9th. Huh. And one plus two plus nine is 12. But also, you have 12 plus nine, which is 21. So it still comes out to 1221, which is a three and a three. And it's like there's something just. But uh, oh, so 
So Baron got a dog. Did you hear about his dog? Who Baron got Baron. a dog? Yeah. Did he? A, a golden doodle. Huh. Guess that's what his name tes- is. That's a Tesla doodle. 57 golden is Tesla. Guess what his name is. <laughs> I'm sure you could guess it. George. Other one. Friday. Patton. Patton. <laughs> Uh, of course it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then on the back of this, I got to bring this book too. They have, they have General Penn's principles, right? Yeah. It's a partial list. And there's seven of them that they list. Leadership, command and management, fitness, pride, courage, confidence, decisions, success, life and death. And even life of death says, revenge belongs to God. Better to fight for something in life than die for nothing. Never let death catch you in bed. That's why he never sleeps. Mm. That man's a machine. Mm. And, and you know, he's like, oh, I'm not a politician. Not a politician. I'm like, can't be. Because you've actually told us the truth about everything. Mm-hmm. It's like, that's all we asked for. Yeah. And that's the thing. It's like, they don't like him. Uh, because of all this, like death can be more exciting than life. There's nothing more offensive to than the truth to someone that's asleep. <laughs> yeah. That's the worst thing you could do. Don't mess with people's oh. ideas. Don't people they mess with people's identity, they'll hate you. If you tell the truth, they'll rend you. Oh, God. <laughs> and even even if the truth uh even if the truth hurts, you know, I mean, what are you gonna do? It's uh I know. You, you're talking about the 187, so 187. Another one is uh is George Washington. 187 is, is George Washington. So Washington's 130. The Kennedys is 130. And then George is 57, which is Tesla, which is Mary, which is uh, England, which is golden. You know, you said he's got a golden doodle and uh, he's called him uh, Pat. Whoa. Yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. The person that wrote this book, right? Yeah. Porter B. Williamson. Says in the back at page 225, served as General Patton's judge advocate at the Desert Training Center. So he's a JAG. Transferred to the Army Air Corps in September 1942, senior officer of the first 12 pilots selected for night fighter combat training. Military career ended with a leg amputation, holds degrees in business and law from Indiana University. An Indiana county prosecutor when called to military service. I live in Indiana. This is this the kicker. Home of the RV. Yeah. Telling you, gained national recognition as an authority on constitutional law when the Saturday Evening Post 1955. Ask back to the future. Reported his victory over the Department of Defense on the basic rights of the American citizen. Are you fucking shitting me? That's back to the future, Jason. And you said it was page 225, did you say? Yes. So 225 comes to time travel, time machine, 225. And you just said Saturday, and it's 1955. And we said earlier, November 5th, 1955, was the year that um, Emmett Brown, 148, who's Donald J. Trump, invented the time machine. You know what the funny thing about that is? Is that... What if Dr. Brown was actually John Trump and Marty McFly was Donald Trump? Maybe. Well, Marty 77, Christ, Quasar. Marty McFly's 136, Great Awakening, which was uh, which was what we came up with one at 36 earlier, I think, to do with Pan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think we're done. And then also, what miles per hour did they have to get? And they've to? got a golden. They've got a golden. Well, it's not a doodle, but it's a. It's a. I think. I think Einstein is a golden Labrador retriever in it. I think. Golden retriever. Yeah. yeah a golden retriever. And you got the Baron Time Trump. Uh, Baron Baron Time Trump. Baron Trump time travel books. You know, and time is forty-seven. John, we spoke about that. None of these people ever died. No. I mean, it's it's proof that because. General Patton was huge in the reincarnation and all that because mm-hmm. he knew, I mean, that's what him and Hitler were doing. When they talk about Hitler saying, oh, Hitler was to kill all these people, I said, no, he wasn't. He was going and looking for these artifacts. 
Mm. Those were just artifacts, like the tip of the spear, the spear of Long Genius and everything. Yeah. And Patton was chasing after him. But finally, Patton was like, and that's what got Patton into trouble with uh, MacArthur and all that. Because he's like, hey, we're fighting the wrong enemy here. And people are like, what? It's like, we should have been on Hitler's side. Mm. And it's like, when he said that, I'm like, what do you mean by that? Well, when, when you start understanding who Hitler really was, and I catch flack for this all the time, but the truth is the truth. Mm-hmm. We didn't learn about the Wansi meeting that they had that solved the Jewish question, the whole Jewish problem, where they moved them. They moved all the Jews to other countries. They didn't kill them. The whole Holocaust, that was done by these corporations and the Vatican. They were all work uh, camps. Mm. But they weren't They weren't like bad camps. I mean, yeah, people died, but they, they're like, oh, they're pits and they're burning them. I'm like, because of typhus. You have to burn everything when you, when you have like the, the um, uh, typhus and all that because we, and you're going to love this. So talk about George, like, hello, George and all that. Well, mm-hmm. God, the stuff we found just in the last week. It's like that's why I wanted to wait until I packed my uh, my um carry on, so that I could you know load up on all these documents because face the dark. Oh yeah, we we got a printer. I'm like, you ain't got a printer that's gonna help us. You know, it's like we got documents after document, and um, and it was the uh, I'll find it. It was the ball report, the B A L L report. That's a JFK report. 27 ball, 27 code. Huh. And remember they said, like, call the ball. Like, you know, the ball is green. You know, the green, the ball is green and all that. And like, uh-huh. what, what else going on with this? It's like, well, they, uh, the George Ball, he, he did a aerial reconnaissance over these um, camps. And he drew them out, how everything was. And then in 1993, they actually went down there and um, did tests on the buildings for contamination, right? Well, it seems that they lied to us about a lot of those camps. They had libraries, brothels, um, swimming pools, everything like that. So all these videos that they're showing of all these emancipated people in these camps, those weren't the ones in Germany. Mm. And, uh, those weren't like Auschwitz or anything like that. Those were the ones in the Soviet Union that the Bolsheviks slash the Ashkenazi Jews, when they killed the 66 million Orthodox Christians, mm. that's why they put the that's why they put the star on them, because mm. they 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 pretty much took back their faith. They wouldn't let them wear a cross. Is this? I, is Joe Rogan spoken to someone about this? Am I getting? Has Joe Rogan spoken to someone about this? No, he's 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 still stuck on the other uh, the other theories. I mean, mm. he still believes they landed on the moon. I'm like, you do understand? I mean, he just came out this list last week and said it again that, well, yeah, it would have been scary if we did it. I know that was um yeah. Buzz Aldrin spoke at Oxford. Yeah, I think it was a few, but that clip came out again. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know if I don't know if you knew this, but how Stanley Kubrick, right? How yeah. they had him, you know, do all that, and how after I know I, his I know his brother-in-law, Jan Harlan. I know his brother-in-law. I've been to the house where his Christiana, his sister was. Yeah. What do you think they know that he's still alive? I think so. I think we know, so. We know who he is now. Well, who he who he was, and who he was in another part. And then they have him in hiding again. Who do you think he? Who do you think he is? Or when he was in hiding first, who do you think he was, and who do you think he is now? No, no, no he he was he was them. But in 1979, mm-hmm. remember when uh, the Shah of Iran was overthrown in 1979, and it was overthrown by Saudi Arabia, right? And what they did was is that the Shah of Iran, because the Shah that ended the 2,500 years of peace in Persia. Who was the one that first brought peace to Persia? It's King Cyrus II. We know who that is. Trump. Right? Uh-huh. Thing is, is that after that, that's when Trump, that's when Trump had to be Trump had to been pissed about that. Because they used cloning. They used the King Khalid military city in 
Saudi Arabia to construct all these clones to do this. Because they, they use the same cloning center for the Desert Storm and Desert Shield. That's why some of these uh, soldiers and Marines did, the and they did, the did the same thing in Europe a couple of years ago. Remember when they had the infestation of all the uh, Muslims? That, oh, we ain't Muslims. And they're out raping and beating on women. Clones, if they don't have a handler, they do two things. They bite and they rape. Huh. Has anybody seen any of those uh, Muslims after a year? It's almost like it ended. Like it was gone. Because mm. they only have a year shelf life. That's it. They're like Nexus 6, the four years in, in Blade Runner. Yep. Mm. Then replicants. It's like, how did they get all these clothes? You know, he had to clothe them easy. On August 25th, that's when Hurricane Harvey hit in Texas. Well, remember, they were like, oh, we need a, as much clothes as possible. If anybody, anybody could donate anything. So I'm like, well, hell, I got a bunch of clothes in my closet. So I donate a bunch and come to find out that these guys were uh, taking all those clothes and all that. You know, it's insane. It's like, what the hell is going on here? Mm. And they took all of our clothes over there, and that's what they clothed all those Muslims that they that they made to pull that shit off in Europe. Mm. Even these migrants that are coming up here. It's like we have that one picture of them all sitting against a wall, and they're all on their cell phones, right? I'm like, how in the hell are they charging their cell phones? You know? Mm -hmm. like, and how they're dressed, I'm like, hold up. Oh, they got the film trailer next to yeah, charge. Right. Plug in, get your coffee. Yeah, in. And, and look, I'm like, like, yeah. There was a girl sitting there. She had flip flops on, jeans, a black sweater, and her hair all curly and, and done. I'm like, if you were going to walk across Mexico in the summer, would you wear a sweater, jeans? Flip flop. I mean, if you're taking that kind of walk, you're not wearing flip flops. That's that you look at how these people are dressed. I'm like, and when they said, even in the uh, the drops, it was uh, was it? It was in like 120 or something like that. Drop 120 is the one that says, Who is the Queen of England? That's the it started out as. Mm -hmm. It said, What are migrants? What are assets? And then migrants, they talk about migrants as what are assets? And they talk mm -hmm. about migrants, what are assets? And mention migrants. It's like, all these migrants are let through here. It's like they said that there are all these, you know, migrants here. It's like, where in the hell are they? Mm -hmm. It's like if you're letting this many people in, where in the hell are they going? And we had the ones that from Venezuela go up when they shipped them up to uh um you mentioned it uh uh Martha's oh, Vineyard. Martha's Vineyard, yeah, in Chameleon Harris's place, yeah. And they threw a fit. We can't, we have no, these 50, 50 migrants, 50. We can't feed them or anything. It's like, these people have thrown house parties that have fed more than 50. Don't lie to us. Yeah, of course. And it's like, oh, so it's okay that they're off everywhere else, but don't put them in my backyard. It's yeah. like, it's like, how does that work? Yeah. You know, it's just crazy. And, uh, but yeah, now we got to bring this, this, because, with Patton, I mean, and when you mention Space Force, right? Mm -hmm. So, Eric Trump mentioned Space Force. So Eric mentioned two things that really stood out to me. He said, he said, he mentioned Space Force, but he said Space Force is the next dimension. I was like, whoa! And it, you know, you would say Space Force is the future. Space Force is the next thing, but he said Space Force is the next dimension, and he said that in front of four or five thousand people and he also started talking about merry christmas and he's saying well my father was ridiculed and criticized for because they wanted to get rid of christmas and get it out of the schools and not teach it and he said i'm going to say christmas i'm going to say happy christmas merry christmas but then eric started going but yeah merry christmas merry and i was like okay we know that trump said we're going to have a, a merry christmas a great christmas in 2020 i was like is this a two-year delta is it another day for Christmas? What's coming, you know? Because a lot of people are thinking about this 25th of September date or 24th, tying in with 
with uh, Rosh Hashanah and uh, the 24th of September, if you do the Gregorian, if you had the 13 days from September 11th, it takes you up to there. Yeah. And but, then, but, uh, but if you, but, but the thing is, Gregorian, remember the Gregorian calendar was by the Pope. So now if they took him out, they go back to the Julian, which you're reverting back to September 11th. Mm -hmm. And it's like, but also when you say Merry Christmas, M is a 13, C is a three, that's a seven. But also 13 plus three is a six, which is also a seven. Or uh, 13 plus three equals seven. 13 plus, well, 13 plus three is 16, which equals seven, one plus six. It's like the math, it's insane. Then when you mention Eric Trump, right? Why would Eric Trump be talking about the next dimension and all that? Remember when they were talking about heights? And he's like, oh, he's like, oh, talking about how Baron Trump and, and Eric and all, how tall they were. He's yeah. like, and he mentioned how tall Eric was and how Baron, tall Baron was. He said Baron was six, six seven at the time. Six, he's seven. Now. Yeah. And, but Baron was six foot eight. And he's like, oh, well, Eric's just a little bit shorter, but we love him anyway. Mm -hmm. It's like, why, why would they do that? You know, they didn't mention Junior or anything like that. It's like, but it's like, no. So what, you, what they did was, is that you have six foot seven, which is six plus seven is 13. Then six foot eight is a 14. Well, one plus three is four. One plus four is five. It's 45. But then when they talk about the heights, like, and we talk about quasars, because the quasars, you could have a quasar one, two, three, and five. There's no quasar four. That was already told to us at Mount Rushmore. Now, say that again about Mount Rushmore, Jason. Uh, we mentioned that when they mentioned when he was at uh, Mount Rushmore on uh -huh. uh, July, July 3rd, 2020. Yeah. And there's a reason why he went on July 3rd. Mm -hmm. Because if you take July 3rd, 2020, and you go back four months, exactly, you come up to March 3rd, right? Mm -hmm. On March 3rd, 1933 is when Mount Rushmore was dedicated. Because 1933 and 2022, that is the time scope we're talking right there. That is right there and there. Plus it's 89 years, which is 17, because everything that happened in 1933, they're completely redoing. Because that's when FDR took us off the gold standard. Um, there's so much that happened in 1933. Mm. And we're just like, what the hell's going on with this? It's like, mm -hmm. even down to um, when they built the gallows outside of DC, right side of White House and everything. They're like, what are they going to do? Start hanging people? I'm like, that's symbolism, guys. Mm. There's a reason why they did that because when Je when President Lincoln was assassinated, I uh, just about you were right. The there you go. It's like, yep. And <laughs> what they did was they rounded up four. Um, they found four people that were complacent in the kidnapping of President Lincoln, not in the assassination, just the kidnapping. So what they did was they had a military tribunal in D.C. for these four. They deemed them guilty automatically, and they hung them. Mm -hmm. One of them, her name was Mary, uh, Mary Lee Surratt, S-U-R-R-A-T-T, -T, or S-U-R-A-T-T. -T. And she was the first female to be executed under the federal government. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wait a second. If this happened in, it was in May of, of 1863, They didn't go rogue until 1871 with the Organic Act of 1871. So now, and also that ends up being a 17 because you have one plus eight is nine, seven plus one is eight, there's 17 there. And also that's when in August 15th of 1871, that is when Albert Pike wrote that letter to Giuseppe Mazzini outlining all three world wars. That, mm. that a London university actually had posted until 1977. They took it down and they're like, we never had that. What are you talking about? It's like, wait a second. Why would they take that down? You know, mm. and 1979, that's when they overthrew the Shah. 
Well, they mentioned World War One and World War Two. It went off perfectly, exactly like it did. I mean, it was mm-hmm. I mean, down to names. The third one was between political Zionism and Islam. Now, the th- the big part about that is that remember 9-11, they blamed it on Muslims, right? Oh, Muslim monk, we have to go get them. What people don't understand is that infiltration over invasion, the Ashkenazis, they infiltrated all of America. They actually occupy all the top parts of America. I mean, we have this these documents that I can even send it to you. It's like who runs America? And you count they have all of these different, like uh the Treasury Department, and all that, and they have them like even Ivy League schools, uh Southern uh Southern University Law Center, um gun control, everything like that. Over 80% Ashkenazis. Yeah. And the last four letters in Ashkenazi is Nazi. Because mm. when they say, oh, National Socialist Party, it's like, where the hell did you get Nazi from? A National Socialist Party. Mm. But they had to say socialist because, yeah, socialism in a specific way is good. We are a socialist country. You have Social Security. You have public works, public fire and all that. Once you add democracy, socialism plus democracy is communism. It was in Mao's Little Red Book of Communism. And that is what Adolf Hitler was trying to take out, was democracy. Because who made democracy big? The Roman Empire. Mm -hmm. When the Roman Empire fell, why did it fall? Because it became a democracy. It's like, that's why all these, you know, all these uh, empires and all, they only last, what, they said 250 years? It's like, about time for America, right? It's like, Mm -hmm. we can't let that happen. Because if America falls, everybody falls. And that's why it's so important to realize that, you know, our enemies are, they're not the people of these countries. The people are the patriots. We're the ones that didn't know. We're the slaves. The mm-hmm. ones that rule over us are the pup, are the, you know, the puppet master. Yeah. yeah. They're yeah. the ones that, they're the ones that need to be taken out. And uh, what else? I was going to say something else. It was, uh, damn it. it. It had to do with, you meant, you mentioned something before that you said about um eric trump and then you mentioned lincoln and yeah. i was like oh, oh i was about to mention lincoln yeah and also because we're, we're talking about the quasars right because they, mm-hmm. they don't have a quasar four well they introduced a group that day during the rally but the cameras went all like over the crowd and everything like that but you hear clapping yeah. But you can't see like anybody like clapping up close, but you don't hear or see anybody standing up and waving or anything. It was the 174th Cyber Wing. 17 is a Q. Mm-hmm. Quasar 4. Those are the time travelers. Quasar 4 are the time travelers. But they didn't uh, put it in the book. Ah. Uh... And what was the book? Tell us again. Uh, what's the book? It was called Text. Text. T-X-T, text. T-X-T, yeah. TXT by W C Vetch. W E V E T S C H. Okay. And guess how much it is on Amazon? Eight dollars and eighty cents. <laughs> eighty-eight Trump. You have to travel at eighty-eight miles per hour. Say, so, buddy, talk it. So this you brought this lovely round. So Eric Trump comes to one hundred and twenty-three in the numbers. Abraham Lincoln also comes to 123. So I don't know if, if Eric Trump is Abraham Lincoln reincarnated. I don't know. You mentioned re- reincarnation with George Patton. I didn't know he was big into it. Reincarnation comes to 141. It comes to Looking Glass. Mark Atwood comes to 141. Tom Bushnell comes to, to 141. Uh, 107 said 141 was a super, because it's a palindrome number. It's, you know, 141. It's, it's a mirror yeah. reflection of itself. But also... Not a lot of people know, I'm doing my Michael Caine now with Mark Atwood, not a lot of people know this, but if you go to Parliament Square, where everything's happening right now with, with the Queen, facing Big Ben, because Big Ben is is uh, actually technically called Elizabeth Tower. Elizabeth is 88, which is Trump. you got the 88 for Hitler. Um, and obviously both sides are playing those powerful numbers, so they know what they are. But then um, 169 Elizabeth Tower is 
Trump Tower 169, the Great Awakening 169. But if you look literally right across the square, Parliament Square, there's a statue of Abraham Lincoln sitting, you know, sitting there, very similar to the one you'd see um, in the, you know, in, in DC. And he's facing Parliament, the UK Parliament. Um, Houses of Parliament is again 217, which is today's date, which is September 19th, which is Lady um, Diana Francis Spencer. You've got a big queue of Ferris wheel. You mentioned a Ferris wheel right across the water. 175, that's consciousness. It's also uh, Diana Francis Spencer. You've got Donald Trump, the River Thames, 138. You've got everything there. But anyway, going back to the statue of Abraham Lincoln, there's a bus stop. And it's not a number, but it's a letter. And he's looking directly down at it. Hazard a guess what this letter of the bus Q. stop is. It's Q. I shit you not, buddy. It's Q. And I was like, I discovered this early lockdown and I've talked about it a few times. And they have an 88 bus, the Trump bus, that goes right through the square and back round and goes right between Abraham Lincoln and you've got the bus stop there. Now, someone put that there. When the did they put, put that there. Yeah, when did they put the Lincoln statue there? Do you know? I'm not or, sure. I don't know the date of it. You could probably Wikipedia and it. Oh, but, but they have him just sitting there, right? Yeah, he's just sitting there and it's, it's, uh, I, I think he's sitting. I don't think he's standing, but it's it's one of the most prominent statues there, and it's facing the ta- it's facing the square, and it's, it's looking directly um, at Parliament Square, at po- the Houses of Parliament, and which is Westminster Palace, and just to the side is Westminster Abbey and Westminster Hall. So you got Westminster Abbey, just a stone's throw from where it's happening. And the other thing about it is Westminster Abbey, as I said before, is two hundred, which comes to uh, like a thief in the night, but it also comes to Mount Rushmore. So you've got Abraham Lincoln, you've got Abe Lincoln literally next to the British uh, um, Mount Rushmore, which is 200. What and Rushmore, you- talking, taking it back to Trump Tower. So Trump Tower is Trump Tower, which is Big Ben, 126, Elizabeth Tower, sorry, what, sorry, 169, Elizabeth Tower, Trump Tower, 169, the Great Awakening, 169. The road that that is on in New York is Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue is 117 which is also Jackie Kennedy 117, and it's also Rushmore 117. So Trump Tower is on Fifth Avenue 117, which is Rushmore. Did you know that – that's everything. good thing I said, thing said on the phone because we just print them up on the, on the fly. Now, from Trump Tower to New York, the New Yorker Hotel, mm-hmm. right? that's, that's the hotel. There, yep. It's a straight shot underground. There's no subways, no nothing. Huh. There's a tunnel that goes from Trump Tower to the New Yorker. Has Jump to be. Jump I, think that, I think that's where uh, that's why they said Admiral Rogers went to Trump Tower after the election. Why? It's like, but you know the whole jump room thing. It's like, but where does it jump to? It goes mm-hmm. to Venezuela. Huh? Because that's where Tesla and all them are now. Right. Because when they because they found out how to you know extend our life i mean how to become biologically immortal yeah. it's our dna you know because they're using adrenochrome while uh tesla them tesla marconi and all them they ended the up, yep. yeah and marconi yeah. they ended up finding a uh a, there's a volcanic crater that's underground in venezuela mm-hmm. and it's they have this big uh it's like a uh Oh, Jason, I'll just yeah. pause you there. I'm not going to say the word again, so the A word, I think we'll get over it once. But if you yeah. do the numbers, I've never said this before publicly, yeah. but you've just hit upon it. So I think it's time to say it. So if you spell the word, the A yeah. that you mentioned, it well, comes okay. to 119. But if you do Nikola Tesla, it comes to 119. So both sides marrying up perfectly. And the good side is to do it through Tesla technology, not the other way. But they're exactly the same numbers. I've never said that publicly, but it seems appropriate to mention it now. And, and I mean, 119, I mean, how many times have we seen that? Inverted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like yeah. weird. It's like. It's Central every- Park is 119, which is just off the corner from Trump Tower. And that's where we saw, you know, the tents, et cetera, with the two mercy ships doing the rescues. 119 is redemption. It's foundation. So everything, they know these, they know these numbers, both sides know it. And that's why they, you know, the big mega numbers on the good side are usually, unfortunately, balanced by the exact reverse on the other side. Ooh. Um, they said there's two date, there's two sets of dates in September that are power dates, September 18th and 19th, and the 24th to 25th. Yeah. So it's like now in Central Park, because 
we looked at um, all the like all the layout and all the landmarks that they have in there, right? Mm-hmm. Now, just off off Central Park, there's the Carlisle Hotel. Huh. Where on December fifth, nineteen sixty one, I believe, JFK gave a speech to the. Uh, it wasn't the National Football League. It was the it was a different football, like the U.S. not the USFL, but it was like the football league that they had then. Uh, yeah, and, that uh, was, yeah, no, something like that. Like, no, yeah, no, and, yeah, 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 and then he got a gold medal or something like that. And Bob Hope was the other person talking. Well, huh. so and that was in New York, right? So in that night, he he went all the way back to D.C. He met with his national security advisors, and then he went all the way back to New York, back to the Carlisle Hotel. In a presidential motorcade, right? Because huh. the Carlisle Hotel, he had a he had a um, a two bedroom condo there. So did his dad, Joseph Kennedy. And there's a lake, a reservoir inside Central Park. It's named Jackie the Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis Reservoir. Yeah, I've seen it, and it comes to three eight five. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Oh, so, okay, so you've been Central Park, right? Mm-hmm. So there's an obelisk in Central Park, right? Mm-hmm. And that's called Cleopatra's Needle. Huh. Now, it was built by Thutmose III, which was who, Ramsey, which, who? Uh, Thutmose III, okay. a pharaoh, okay. which was uh, Ramses II's son. Okay. So... When we started looking into that, Ramses II was the pharaoh that under him, they were the first ones to sign the Egyptian Hittite peace treaty. It was the first peace treaty ever known, ever recorded. It's like, wait a sec. It's like, and you know, President Trump next to Mount Rushmore, he's standing there right next to the stone, and he's smiling, right? Uh-huh. I'm like... What if he's doing that? Because and they're like, oh, he's gonna put him on Mount Rushmore. It's like he doesn't have to be on any more stone reliefs, guys. What if he's also Ramses II? Because mm-hmm. remember all those big those big stone reliefs over in Egypt and everything. There's his face. How do we spell Ramesses, Jason? R A M E S S E S. Hang on. R. <clears throat> Sorry. Let me do it again. R. Uh, R A M E S S E S. Let me make sure that it's two S's. I think it is two S's. Okay. Huh. Yes, it is two S's. So it's Ramesses. So it's R A M E S S. Yes, is that yes, yes. Hang on, sorry, I'm doing I'm doing, I'm doing it like one more time. R A M E S S S E S. Yes, so Ramesses is 99, which is Ascension Patriot. Um no! Ramesses, no! Ramesses the second. Oh my that comes to 192. Comes to Ivanka Marie Trump, comes to Governor's Island. I don't know if it's Maybe it was Ivanka that was, in, you know, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not totally. I don't know if male and female can change throughout their lifetimes. They might be able to. I don't know. But it was uh, him. Trump was Ramsey's the sec- Ramsey's the second. They built a tank called Ramsey's the second tank, but R E M S E S. The thing about it is, is that how so, do you spell that second version? R R A M. S E S tank and get this fucking, get this. so just one less S is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Now Ramesses uh, the second. Ah, uh, Ramesses the second without. Yeah. One. Yeah. Okay. And also, so, um, that's Knights nice Templar actually without the S, the extra one. Interesting. And because uh, General Patton 
was the one that created the tanks. Mm-hmm. He created all the tank stuff, right? And you know how with the Space Force and everything, um, how when they showed the uniforms, right? And it was like, oh, President Trump ripped that off from Space from uh, Star Trek and all Star that, Trek, right? yeah. Gene Roddenberry. Right. But he didn't. Gene Roddenberry took it off of Space Force. Pat, their, their tank uh, uniforms was the same uniform. I have a wow. picture of him in it. I'm like, ah, so he was Space Wolf back then. Well, that, that was his tank division. Right. So Star Trek and all that uh, came about. Uh, um, the Twilight Zone, that was, well, let's start Star Trek and all that stuff. Mm. Now, this Ram, Ramsey's the second tank. You're going to love this. It's a heavily modernized. T-55 main battle tank. A T-55, huh? Really? A 5-5? Five five? I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I mean, this is... Because President Trump mentioned about um, about a, a tank company, at, um, yeah, Halton Production. And he's like, absolutely not. He's like, you keep those lines going. And I'm like... He's pretty fervent on doing that, right? Like, you say it's called Ramesses Tank? Yes. So Ramesses Tank is 126, which is John Connor, Sarah Connor, which is Chinese Elders, which is also 107. 126, which is 11 plus 11. It's 11, 11. It's Ramesses Tank. It's 63 Friday plus 6, 63, which is 11. This is insane. Now we have Ramesses Tank. <laughs> Ramesses without the extra S, yeah? Yep. Yeah, Ramesses tank is uh, tank is forty six best, and uh, Trump's born in forty six. JFK was age forty six in sixty three. Sixty three plus forty six equals one hundred nine, which equals Sabruda, which equals seventeen, which That's equals Diamond Spencer, which equals Saturday. Like, That's all um, President Trump was when uh, JFK was assassinated. Seventeen. <laughs> But yeah, remember that they were like, oh, oh, President Trump, he didn't serve in the military. You know, he did, I'm like, he served his whole life in the military. Just because you don't wear a uniform doesn't mean you're not in the military. Yeah, exactly. I mean, hell. Yeah. And, and that's the thing. It's like, and when he said, oh, I went to New York to the school. And I'm like, no, you didn't. Are you kidding me? It's like you went to Fishburne Military Institute in uh, Virginia. People are like, what do, you mean? what do you mean? I'm like, because it's like how to catch a fish, but this fish burn one, there's another person that graduated from there that's a big player in this too. Vince McMahon. Ah, that's how they're buddies. Yeah. Right. Because they went to the same school. Because that uh, yeah. at school, what they would do is in Virginia, and, and listen to the address. It's 230 Wayne Road in Wayne, Wayne. Wayne in Waynesboro, Virginia, in Wayne County. Three Waynes. I am 68, Batman. 68, 68. Wow. You're saying I am Batman, right? And yeah. the building, the building has a peculiar shape to it. Mr. It's Wayne. The shape of a number nine. Huh. And when President Trump was president, they had this ceremony at this uh, this um, institute, right? Because it's, uh-huh. just, it's just up to like uh, grade 12, you know? Yeah. And during the summers, they go to the Virginia Military Institute and they do all this flying and all this other stuff. They work with other people. Uh-huh. It's like, Wait a second. It's like, what's this? What do they do? It's a bell ringing ceremony. Uh-huh. Right? It's like a loyalty thing. The problem is when they had it during President Trump's presidency, it seems that there was 15 to 20 minutes that didn't get recorded of the ceremony. Huh. I wonder why. Because he went. He went to ring the bell, and, but he wanted to make sure that nobody saw it. Yeah. But he's really big in the loyalty. Yeah. Wow. And... You, you said it's, sorry, go on. All right. No, go on, man. I've got this. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm, I'm going to pull that up. All right. There, there's so much when you live. You said, uh, you said a, a number nine building. You said it's in the shape of that. So building is seventy eight, which is a podcast, which is also Kennedy. Um, 
a number nine building comes to 194, which comes to New Yorker Hotel, which is the Tesla Hotel on, on uh, 8th Avenue, 125 Time Travel, John Kennedy, etc. But uh, also, we talked about going back to 1955. Uh, well, 1955 for the time of uh, Back to the Future's time travel invention. But 1955 is also 194. And 1955, 194 also equals September 11th. So when Emmett Brown says, remember November 5th, 1955, he's also saying ground zero, September 11th, because ground zero is 143, George Patton. And it's also November 5th. And then 194 is 1955, which is also September 11th, which is also a number nine building. And that comes to 337 to get all together, November 5th, 1955. So he's saying ground zero, which is also building seven is 143, November 5th. So he's, he's saying building seven, September 11th. And he's also saying ground zero, September 11th, when he says November 5th, 1955. This is this is impossible right now. No way. Yeah. Is... So, the name of the school. It's Fishburne Military School, which is. As in Lawrence Fishburne, the the, the Matrix. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Um, the address is two five five South Wayne Avenue. Two five five. Well, that's, yeah. that's one thousand years of peace. 255 is 1,000 years of peace, which is also the uh, Winter White House, 255, which is Mar-a-Lago, Mar-a-Lago 68 Wayne. You said there's three Waynes, Wayne, Wayne, Wayne. Wayne is 68, which is Baron as well, Mr. Wayne. Oh, my God. Are you serious? This is... So, this is, this is nuts. This is fucking nuts. So... The colors, the colors are garnet and gold. What so color is garnet? What color is garnet? Jeffrey? Red. Okay. Red. Like he wears a red tie, right? Yeah. Unbelievable. Garnet. How do you spell garnet? G A R N E T. Okay. Garnet. <laughs> of course it is. So garnet and gold. Oh. Okay, buddy, listen to this. So we just talked about, we just talked about uh, November 5th, 1955, being also a code for Ground Zero, September 11th, and that's in Manhattan, New York. So Garnet, and I didn't, so G-A-R-N-E-T, Garnet is 65, which is Florida, it's the word stay in the, in the Christopher Nolan films where he, he always emphasizes, and then plus the gold, um, yeah, you said garnet and gold, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, garnet and gold. Uh, huh. So garnet, garnet plus gold is one hundred was one hundred three, which is September. And then if you were if you had the and, then that takes you to one twenty two, which is America first millennium, Kansas City, and Back to the Future is all going. Uh, well, the uh, Back to the Future is the same as Wizard of Oz one seven six. And all you know, the yellow brick road going back to, to Kansas, but uh, yeah, so garnet plus gold is um, is uh, is 103, which is September, which is bullshit. Where we started off, I think this just got a lot bigger for us. Um, let's see, uh, this I'm just going a little printing brigade right now. Oh, shit. Mm -mm. It's insane. I just oh. <laughs> hit me. Okay. okay. So this is just this is just too exciting now. Because now we're we're getting like way deep into this. So Fishburne Military School. So mm -hmm. um at James A. Fishburne, a student protege of Robert E. Lee. Right? Remember when they tore down the statue? Robert E. Lee statue. Opened the co-ed Waynesboro High Who's School. Sorry, buddy. Who's Robert E. Lee? 
Uh, they they did it over here. The liberals. They took that Robert Lee statue. And Robert E. Lee is who in history? He, he was a gen, he was a general in the Civil War. It was General okay. Grant, General Lee. He was the general uh, for the South. Okay. Like the Dukes of Hazard, the General Lee. They had the the oh, yeah, flag. yeah, 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 yeah. Confederation and, flag. Yeah, yeah. And the other one was General Grant, which was President Ulysses S. Grant. U- Ulysses S. Grant, yeah. Which Ulysses was Ulysses thirty one, the cartoon. Yeah, okay, got it. And yeah. He was the was the eighteenth president, I believe. Eighteenth or nineteenth president. I think 18th. I think he was the 18th. Yeah, because they say Junior yeah. will be the 19th because of, yeah, yeah. Then you have, um, with Grant, because there's a lot of things Grant did that, because he was alive during the whole Reconstruction era and commie posse, uh, posse comiteus and everything like that with all insurrection stuff. Mm-hmm. But with, um, let's see, let's see how that goes. With the, was it? it was he actually uh, pretty much demolished the KKK? Huh? Like he decimated it. Like it was gone. The problem is, is that it got a resurgence, as we know, right? You want to know who did that? His name was Jacob Schiff. Huh? The father of uh, Schiff. To great, Schiff. Great, yeah, great grandfather. Great grandfather, wow. and he's the same one. And Schiff is the same one that, uh, well, Jacob Schiff is the same one that uh, he financed the um, the Bolshevik Revolution. Huh. Yeah. This is insane. So I do it. I because uh, I print up all the stuff with the Fishburn stuff because I'm bringing all this stuff with, so we can all look at it. You know. Because we're gonna oh, find, you know, we'll and all, the heads, all the heads of the school. Uh, let's see, they have colonels, they had one major general, they had one brig- brigadier general, and uh, yeah, and also, so they would go to Virginia uh, Military Institute during the summers, right? Now, there was a specific um, damn it. specific uh, person that taught there. That, I mean, just just how I ask, that taught physics there, right before the Civil War, and he didn't have his nickname yet, but he was soon to get it in the war. His name was Thomas Jackson, aka Thomas Stonewall Jackson. Jackson. Stonewall Jackson was a physics professor at Virginia Military Institute. Wow. He's one of the famous generals of the Civil War. Stonewall That's Jackson. Right. Yep. And they gave him the nickname Stonewall because all he, he just stood there. You know, it's like all these, they were all charging at him and they just. Are you shitting me? Stonewall yeah. Jackson. Stonewall Jackson, yes. Dude. This is just insane. So this is what happens when we do all this. So Stone is 73. Wall is 48. Stone Wall comes to 121, which is um, Golden Jubilee, Revelation, uh, Gotham City for the Batman connection. And then Jackson is 73. 73. So Stone Wall Jackson comes to 194. And I just did that whole piece about 194 being September 11th. And 1955 and New Yorker Hotel and the other one we did which was uh, where is it a number 9 building 194 Stonewall Jackson is the same number buddy wow and he was teaching physics yes and he's probably, I'd, I'd imagine you're probably alluding that he was teaching the other physics, the Tesla stuff. Well, thing is, is that Tesla wasn't even alive yet. So maybe he was Tesla. Because the name is the same. It's the same. The Tesla Hotel is the New Yorker. Well, New Yorker Hotel is 194, which is 1955. And Emmett Brown says... 1955 is when time travel was discovered. And then Stonewall Jackson, who I didn't even know who he was, is 194. 
which is also a number nine building, which is also September 11th, the crucible of everything that's going to get reversed. Have you seen the Have you seen the, the Christopher Nolan film Tenet, where he oh. simultaneously destroys a building and recreates it all in the same time? And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. What? Yes. Yes. There's a clip in the film Tenet. Tenet is all about inversion, which is a form of one way to do time travel. You're going backwards. And 125 is inversion. 125 is time travel. 125 is dark light. 125 is John Kennedy. 125 is 8th Avenue. But there's a bit where they're doing a military operation in Ukraine. And they're going to simultaneously, Judgment Day, a nuclear event is going to be simultaneously triggered and also stopped at the same time, which you see in the film. But then there's a part where there's a building destroyed and then recreated all at the same time. It's a brilliant piece of cinematography. And it's like, whoa. And I look at that and I'm like, September 11th. That's Yeah. That has to be reversed. Has to be reversed. And you said it was an inversion. Think mirror. Yes. That's, 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 what if we wake up? Which is 9-11 and inversion of it is 119, which is Nikola Tesla, 119, which is redemption, which is foundation. Yeah, imagine we wake up one day, Jason, and it's there. And those towers are there. Yeah, exactly. That's and we're the crazy ones. That's going to happen, mate. And I hope that we get to witness it going, but it could yeah. be just as seamlessly as a Back to the Future moment where we wake up one day and they're there. And then the way we'll know they're there is probably because that's the, the new one, which is symbolic for the Mount of Olives because it's 219. 219 is, is uh, one World Trade Center. World Trade Center is 185 Donald John Trump. The word one is 34, which is DJT. And it goes 219, the, the Mount of Olives. And I, the way I think we'll notice it is because we'll see that we'll know it's changed because we'll see the three of them. We'll see the two towers plus the other one. And that's a one, one, one. And one 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 is New York, which is perfection. One one one. That's what I think is going to happen at some point. And I, I agree, buddy. You got it instantly. We'll wake you know up what? and it will be there. You know how we're going to know? You know, we'll be able to prove it. We archived everything offline. Yes. It's all right there. Yeah. It's like you can't say we're crazy, because yeah. here's what they did. I think they'll know because I think they'll have the three there. I think they'll have the three as well. And yeah, we'll right, have but, the, but remember know, how they say, they'll say we're crazy. Oh, we, we get lots. It's like, oh no. People will know. They'll have the memory. They'll have the Mandela effect memory of 9 11. And then they'll be like, what? They're there. And I think probably the third tower, the new one, will be there. And there'll be the three of them. And it'll be a 1 1 1, which is perfection, which is New York. Well, one, the thing one, is, is that that, thir- that one tower that you put up, because remember, they put the two black cubes in the ground. Yes. As the pools. So those got to go. Yeah. Then that one tower they put up, they put the tower up for uh, transhumanism. Because the nuclear war that they did there was the nuclear family. Mother, father, Tower 7 was the child. You tore down all three. And what was at the bottom of Tower 7? The gold. And a child, you know, your, your Christ consciousness, your Christos is in your, mm-hmm. your bridge chakra. And they yeah. stole it. They steal it from you. They yeah. steal your energy. Yeah. And then it's all going to come back up because why the queen had to go down now is because they easily pit it on her. Because remember, BBC was there like, oh yeah, Tower 7 went down. It's like, it's right over her shoulder. It's like, well, how do you guys know about this? It's like you flew and over, you, over here. And, yeah. And you yeah. know, Baron Trump wore that t-shirt saying about Building 7. And Building 7 in the numbers comes to 143, which comes to Melania Trump comes to Trojan horse, it comes to November 5th, and it comes to uh, Building 7, and it comes to Ground Zero. And then yeah. on the other one, 185 World Trade Center comes to 185 Donald John Trump. So they, they tried to energetically take out Donald Trump, Donald John Trump, 185 World Trade Center, and Building 7, Melania Trump, 143. But they're all coming back. The whole thing's coming back. Yeah. Hey, buddy, this is awesome. We should, we'll should we do part two when we're on the road. Cause Hell yeah. Wrap up, but this is brilliant. It's great. Man. And you, the synchronicities, it's like yeah. and then, bringing all your stuff and, and bringing it in. And it's just, it's great. It's a lot of fun. We've been, this is and good. Also, good and also their mascot, the Fishburne Military School, it's a caisson. What's a caisson? 
a case, well, a couple things. A caisson is when you drill to bedrock it off for a building mm-hmm. and you like a, like a pier, you know, you drill for like a bridge. Yeah. Right? Bridge, caisson. Uh-huh. But the old guard in Arlington National Cemetery are called the caisson. Really? Wow. So the caisson drills down to the foundation. The yeah, yeah, they drill, the they, they drill these caissons down, and then they put the re- reinforcing steel, the rebar in, and then they fill yeah. the concrete and everything like that. So it's on bedrock. Got it. So got it's got it. st- sturdy footing. Not like um, in Miami when they said, oh, it's because of the pool that this uh, building collapsed. Like, you guys yeah. stupid or what? <laughs> it's like, what are you building stuff on top of inflatable pools now? What? I mean, yeah. You don't get it. Caisson. Wow. That's cool, all, the Fishburne Military School, the symbol that they have on their their site, it's yeah. an upside down triangle. Huh. So you have the triangle and flip it upside down. Yeah. The triangle is a lot in the drops. Superman's da-da-da, Superman 107 yep. Trumps quantum. Well, and and, and, and that one, because I've got the, the, the one with the T in it, but you have the S, right? In there, we found out what that was why they did that it's your kundalini the s's and, uh, and, yeah. Yeah, and they kept it enclosed in a diamond because there was five sides on it uh, so five and your kundalini your the s it kept it inside because right. that's what there's like spike it's like you know it's like you're not going to get to ascend or anything it's like uh yeah 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 okay yeah this ain't gonna work for you guys not at all Krypto- kryptonians 143 november 5th 37 <laughs> This is so awesome. I General guess. Patton is Kryptonian, 143. George Patton's 143, Kryptonian, 143. Jeez. Wow, buddy. It's awesome, man. Well, it's been fantastic, man. Um, check the links below for the tour. Um, both me and Jason and Mark and Lewis and everyone will be there. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, buddy. I think we're going to be talking a lot about this, huh? We are. We are. So I'm going to load up all these books and everything. And... Um, there's something big about the Fishburne Military School too, is that it spurred the Gothic Revival architecture. Mm. Yeah, that has to do with King Jesus too. That's why they put all the glass on all those uh, those uh, cathedrals. They're cathodes. Yes, Tartaria. Yep. Tartaria is 88. Scotland is 88, and it's full of all of that. And 88 is Trump. And where's the where is the big hub of Tartaria? It's in Moscow. It's in ah. Red Square. Red Square. Yeah. And do you know what? So I, I've forgotten this, but I'm just going to double check. So I didn't know that about Tartaria, but it makes perfect sense. So, uh, okay. So guess what? So the numbers on this, Jason, you just confirmed it. So Tartaria comes to 88 Trump. Scotland comes to 88 Trump. Trump comes to 88 Trump and Moscow comes to 88 Trump, which equals Tartaria. And you have to travel 88 miles per hour to time travel. Guess what else he said Saturday night? Saturday night, we're going back to the future. (laughs) He said that they have awoken the sleeping giant. Really? The Tartarians. They were the giants. Wow. And Giant is also Batman Fuck. 51, and, and it's also Jessara. Wow. Son Bring of a it bitch. On, it... Bring it on. And get, I, I should show you the picture. I haven't got it on here, but I took a picture of Eric Trump, and I was wearing 88 MPH, like a Batman oh, nice. t-shirt. Yeah. And 88 plus MPH comes to 125 time travel, uh, Dark to Light, 8th Avenue, where the Tesla building is, and also John Kennedy. But I took the picture with Eric Trump, and he is tall. And I did the numbers on it later. I knew Eric Trump was 123, Abraham Lincoln 123, gold plus silver 123. Um, but I didn't know the full. I added up. So I did Eric Trump and Tom Numbers. And that comes to 282. And 282 comes to 88 miles per hour when you spell it out. And I was like, okay, thank you. I got that one. That's it. And I'm wearing the T-shirt, the 88 miles per hour T-shirt. And it comes to transition of greatness as well. So. 
it's amazing, buddy. You brought so much to the table, so thank you. Oh, this is awesome. We're gonna, well, we're gonna have a lot of, we have a lot to talk about. In the, uh, people are gonna be freaking out in the in the RV about this. It's like, <laughs> you know, because it all comes out. It's like, yeah. I mean, he, they, we're gonna get we're gonna get translated into the next dimension in the RV. Yeah, That's what's man, man, would that be something, huh? I know. Or I'm an. Can you imagine if after, everything's twice? What if they start the RV while we're in the RV? I think it, I, that's why I was thinking, as I said. <laughs> I asked, and you're I from Indiana, Lewis. and Trump yeah. said an RV. Indiana, that's the home of RVs. That's you, you know. Oh, oh well. and, and the Keystone, right? When they talk about that, we found the. Okay, Keystone I just, RV. I just was thinking of the as Keystone I said, RV, of uh, Mount Rushmore, and we got Keystone at the bottom. Yeah, Keystone, and it's right on. It's right on the outside circle. It's like when you lay over the Mickey Mouse clock, it points right to Keystone. And, and Keystone the other, at the foot of Mount Rushmore. And the other, and the other hand points towards a specific t- state the montana they came out with the keystone montana rv wow it's a fifth wow. wheel they came out with two versions five five there you go keystone it's- is frequency history trump card and he and he spoke on like you said july 3rd because it was a leap year is actually the 165th day of the year because usually July 4th, but the most potent speech was on July 3rd. And he talked about a promissory note. He talked about Martin Luther King and he mentioned the RV and he said, the promissory note, that's what the RV is. Redeeming promissory notes, promissory yeah. papers, old currencies. I was like, he just said it. The promissory, said it note, that is, the promissory note is the trump card. Yeah. You know what that was, right? In Kansas City. Which is the- where the, the Wizard of Oz, if you go back to time, Follow the yellow brick road, yeah. And Millennium. also, trust Kansas, right? Yeah. In the Kansas City, um, New Jerusalem, Kansas City, it's yeah. Be, yeah. The can the Kansas City Federal Reserve, right? They found something in a drawer. It was a bear bond from World War II, of China's. It was huh. a three trillion dollar bear bond, right? Wow. That's what Trump took with them. Thing is, is that. Bear bonds from World War II, remember, it gains interest. And a bear bond is payable among. Yeah. That's upon it. Upon demand. What he did was he went over there. He's like, simple as this. All these other countries, the other countries for Gisela, because I mean, if everybody's in debt to China, he's like, either you cancel everybody's debt with this or pay it up. And now you're decimated. You yeah. pick. Yeah, that's exactly that's why he even did it with G. He walked in front of G in front of the troops. Yeah. Yep. And the oh, and the the dragon families have, have got the money to help the reparation because China's gonna have to pay for what's going on. And guess what else they said about the uh the Queen's funeral? It was a part of one of the biggest military operations in history. Huh. Wow. This is the whole military operation. Who's, he- who's heading it? The commander in chief. And he's in DC. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's brilliant. Wow, oh buddy. All right, my man. Well, in- right, but, have yeah, a good when, time. You, when you got there, uh, Wednesday or? I will be. Thursday. So I'm in Sacramento. So I'm in Arizona for a few days and then I'll be in Sacramento on Thursday, Thursday to meet up with everyone okay. and, then we, and then we hit the ground on, the, on Friday in Sacramento. Yep. Yeah. We cool. start then. Then, yeah, I'll see you on Thursday. All right, my man. Yeah, we'll find out tomorrow. So. Good stuff. Cool. All right, Bob. Thanks, Jason. Right. Thank you. Later. You bet. Yes, All right, Take see you later. Later. All right, bye. Bye. bye.